What's going on guys, it's your boy Mason here from MaddenSchool.com. I'm going to be showing you one of my other favorite plays that I like out of this Baltimore offensive playbook. It's another RPO, but this time it's out of the pistol formation. I like this pistol formation a lot this year because it seems to mirror the last couple of years where the pistol runs are kind of delayed, like the stretch, the counter, and I feel like they're very effective that way and in a way that they're just not with just a traditional under center look. So I'll go ahead and show you this stretch just against random defense. And we're going to have this RP on the backside, the little looky slant. And in a defense like this, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a couple runs against the defense and show you why I like it. In a defense like this, I don't think I would run it. I mean, you'd always want to make that read. But especially with the receiver over there like Willie Sneed, he's just not going to get off press coverage efficiently enough in time for me to throw that route before my linemen get downfield. So in this look, obviously, this wouldn't be a perfect play to run. You might want to audible out. But you still have, like it shows you, that weaker box to the right side. So you should be in the clear to an extent. And fortunately, our receiver just gives up the block. <laughs> but we had four blockers out there and lead block. And if we could just seal that edge, we'd have been gone. So I got to show it to you right here. Like this one, for example, you just get that nice hole. You make a move and you're looking pretty solid. So it's, I mean, you run it just like any other stretch, but it's a really efficient run. But here's where the play shines is in an off coverage look where there's not an immediate outside flat defender. I mean, you can tell maybe that safety is going to jump down, but it more looks like a cover two, cover four, maybe a two man under look. It doesn't look like a cover three where that safety is going to jump to the flats. So you just want to go ahead and I would read really whatever flat defender is out there. If that corner jumps down in a cover two look, which it just doesn't look like he is based on alignment, you might not want to throw it. But if the flat defender doesn't get out there in time, you can go ahead and send it out there just like that. And right there is actually a little bit of off-man coverage, and that's exactly what we're looking for when we call this play. It's just an easy pitch and catch. So again, the stretch like this is just any outside run. Just go ahead and press that off your tight ends, but cut it up if you need to, but I normally like to take it to the outside. And right there, you just go ahead and hit that looky again. It does a really good job of getting underneath, even when that corner jumps down in a cover two-ish look like they just played there. It's cover two, you got the safeties backpedaling and the, the corner sitting. But even in that case, he just the corner won't follow him in all the way. So if you recognize that look quick enough to where your offensive linemen aren't crazy down the field, you're still good, boom, and get that slant right across. Additionally, we did have that RPO pretty open as well. You could have just hit that right up this gap here. But that's one of the reasons I love this play is it's just a very, very, very good run as well as you get that RPO. And right there again, just a good 10-yard chunk play pretty easily. And that's not to a great receiver out there. Imagine if you have a receiver like Tyreek Hill out there, for example, or just any receiver really quicker than Willie Sneed. I probably could have put Hollywood Brown out there and he would have been cooking. But... Right there, it's just, it's a really strong run. Even there when you're running, I'm running into a heavy box to the right and I'm still getting a good chunk play. Right there, you just go ahead and cut it up. And even with the not most fast running back in the world, you're still looking at like an 8 to 10 yard gain if you just cut it up the field right. Sometimes they won't block, but I mean, that's Madden for you. But really, it's just a good, simple RPO play that I like a lot because it's one that gives you a really, really good pass option outside. I showed you that bubble screen, which I love as well, but this one is just a little bit different and something to kind of mix up as well. This Baltimore playbook is going to be a very fire popular playbook this year just because of all these RPOs that not a lot of other playbooks have, especially as many as this Baltimore playbook. It's going to be interesting to see how you run it, especially with a mobile quarterback as well, because there are some quarterback runs involved in this playbook. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and experiment with this Baltimore playbook, and I will be sure to post anything I find for y'all.